how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm doing the update to Paranormal Pantivity. This was created by the divine Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. I know I say it all the time and literally it's, I'm sure she looks at her comments going, oh there's Ruth again because every time I have to say, Andrea, your eyeshadow is unreal. The look she does, the vibrancy, the beauty, oh, love them. Anywho, uh, this runs from September 24th, 2022, National Ghost Hunting Day, and is a year long, monthly or bi monthly, whichever suits you. And um, how many products did we say at the start? Six products rolling or all at once. And um, if you use the thumbnail that Andrea created, it was her sister, Maria Filar. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, but I have her linked down below. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm just going to cry first because it's all very emotional, don't you know? On we go. So the first item I have in is Poltergeist, a product that gives you trouble. Hard to use, faulty packaging. So I have in Makeup Obsession Pure Bake Lace Baking Powder. Here it is here. And the reason it's a bit of a pain in the ears is because... So, right, here's the, the top, the lid. There's no sifter or anything in it. So you actually have to wedge it off. God, don't make a mess now, right? Wedge it off, pour some of the powder into the lid, mush it back. That's all I have left, if you can see in. Yes, you can. Back in, this back on. Hack up a lung at the dust that comes up, the powder that comes up, and screw it back in. Who? Who was behind this, please? I want names. Thank you very much. Ridiculous. Lovely powder. Don't get me wrong. But do you ever cop on over there? Who's in charge over there? Ridiculous. Anywho, I've used it 24 times. My goal is to finish it. I think I will have that done. She wanna say it before the end of the year. <gasps> I hope so. I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. Who's it with Jessica at that recently? And it's like she started saying, I was like, oh, it's a little toast that could. And she literally said, it's the little. Yeah, Ruth. Uh, next up is Doppelganger, a product you have a double backup of. And that is the CYO Long Lasting Foundation Life Proof in the shade 103. This is it here. Um, it came in just here and we're up to here. I haven't used it a whole lot because I've been going through my foundations at the moment um, to see what I'm keeping and what I am decluttering. So this has only got seven uses. Haley, if you are watching, I have a full unopened bottle of this in this shade. It is yours if you want it. Hit me up on Instagram, give me your address, I'll post it over to you because I'm not going to get it. So just, if you're watching, it's yours. Otherwise, it's going to end up in the bin because it'll be just gone out of date or whatever. So, you know, please. White Lady. Product that's white or white packaging. And this is the bronzer that is cursed. It is cursed by the panning fairies. They come in every night and they put a little bit back in so that I will never, ever in my whole life hit feckin' pan in it. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Fantastic Bronzer. It was in my Nightmare and Panning Street didn't hit pan and it's now in this and I still haven't hit pan I don't understand I've used it 15 times in this project alone 15 and still not them I don't understand what is happening it is staying in my goal is to finish it <laughs> if I haven't hit pan in about 40 uses it's easily 40 uses Next, ectoplasm, a face mask. And I had in the Soap and Glory Fab Pore, the Fab Pore, like is in the Fab Four. They like a little pun. Uh, skin smoothing, pore refining, cheap mask uh, with lemon balm, lavender and eucalyptus. And boy, could you feel the eucalyptus, I'll tell you what. Uh, very minty, kind of felt cold. This would actually, I think, be lovely for summertime. Joe, if it's very hot or humid or that, this would be lovely because it really was cooling. Um, and my skin looked nice afterwards and there was loads of serum in it um so i actually enjoyed it this is for oily combination skin which i don't have but i still enjoyed it it was quite nice so this is the one and only item i have finished this month. <laughs> but 
but that's okay. It's all good in the hood. Uh, next up, exorcism, an item you want out of your collection. And this is the Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush in the shade Nude Burn. And the reason I want it out is because Maybelline is not a cruelty-free brand and I'm trying to have my collection as cruelty-free as possible. I hope you can see we've used quite a bit of it. I have used it 11 times and I'm quite enjoying it. So it's not a chore to use at all. Um, and my goal is to finish it. So that will be staying in and that's okay. We're, we're tipping away nicely on it and I'm enjoying it. Um, so I had said I will be doing this progressive style. So I'll need to, I didn't update last month. I probably will do these updates um, every two months because just with life and stuff like that, it just will work out a bit easier for me. So I have to roll in something for the item I have finished. But I also said I would progressively roll a new product in for each month. So we're going to be rolling three. So first item is uh, Bogey, Boogie, however you decide to pronounce it. So AKA Bogeyman or Boogeyman, we call him the Boogeyman over here, uh, a product you use at night. And this is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid from CosRx. It was in another project and I had used that much of it. So now we only have this much. Now I say only, but that could still take me a couple of months because I only use it like once a week. And since it rolled out of that other project, I haven't used it once. So it definitely needs to go back into a project to get me to finish it. Not a product I feel like I probably need. I shouldn't have bought it. I just, you know, you do these things, don't you? Um, but I will use it to completion. Um, so yeah, that's coming in to finish. Next up is Banshee, a product you are close to finishing. So in Ireland, and I'm sure in most countries, the Banshee basically supposedly wails when um, someone is going to die, typically someone close to you. Now I remember once I was saying to my mom about the Banshee, and she was like, do you know what the Banshee is now? That is some owl lad coming back from the pub, piss drunk, back in the day when there was no light it was pitch dark in the countryside and stuff like that and there was a fox barking and it sounds like someone screaming like a woman screaming and that was it that was how the tale of the banshee started I'm like well thanks for ruining that for me man so since then the banshee holds no sway over me <laughs> it's just a fox screaming have you ever heard a fox like i live in the countryside and i remember we were minding wow tangent we were minding my mother-in-law's dog bobby if you've been here, you know about the little fool. But anyway, he was out the back here one night, going to the loo. <laughs> and a fox started barking. He nearly shit himself. <laughs> he lost his life. <laughs> he could tear back. <laughs> I, oh, it was one of the funniest things ever. He hadn't a clue. Because he never heard a fox before. <laughs> Sorry, tangent. Anywho, this isn't even the product I'm bringing in. <laughs> I am bringing in the Elf Potty Eye Primer. Again, this was in another project. It's my favourite eye primer and my goal is to finish it. There isn't a whole lot left, but there's still, that's months worth, do you know? So, and that's coming in and like I said, my goal is to finish it. Stupid little dog. Next up is Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. And look, at, I try to run through through all my collection so nothing has been sitting here for years and then not been used but this product I bought it I tried it once or twice it went into the back of the drawer I haven't used it since I bought it earlier this year so this is the flower beauty uh, illuminating primer and my goal is to use this 20 times I just have a usage goal on this one um I want to start using these kind of glowy primers I'll just show you it even on days that I'm not doing makeup, you know, just to give the skin a tiny bit of something to make it look a bit more healthy and plump and juicy and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so this is coming every 20 uses. So hopefully I will, it'll force me to use it on days that I'm not even, I think I'll actually leave it with my skincare and that way then I'll just, you know, naturally kind of use it. Anyhow, that is coming in. So that is my update for Paranormal Pantivity. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, I had done Nightmare on Panning Street last year and I decided to do this one this year instead because it just it's one from Andre that I haven't done before. I haven't done any of Andre's projects before so I'm delighted to take part with her because I love her. 
and um i thought it was a fun one too it's it's, it's really oh, the girls they just come up with these brilliant ideas i love it so this is one of the few that i am continuing on i'm not going to finish it up it is going to continue on until it finishes up next year this one women who rock and the panas pan are the three that will continue on without stopping the rest i am bringing to a conclusion but that is it for today's update. I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll chat you in the next one. Bye! Slot!